Well, welcome back. Today, of course, was the uh, International Women's Day celebrated around the world to highlight the achievement of women around the world. And of course, tonight here on the Business Insight, we take this opportunity to wish all the women around the world a happy International Women's Day. And of course, tonight we have a special focus on women and what they are doing in business. And of course, what is their role in the achievement of the Big Four agenda? Tonight in studio, Principal Secretary in the Department of Maritime Affairs, Nancy Karigithu, is joining us here. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you. And of course, happy uh, International Women's Day. Thank you very much for that. And of course, Beatrice uh, van der, how do, you, do I uh, pronounce, van der Veld? Van der Velde. Mm -hmm. Van der Velde. Yes. Wow. Uh, she's the uh, Kenyan representative uh, of uh, the Kenyan National Chamber of Commerce and Industries uh, in Germany. And of course, a budding entrepreneur. Thank you very much indeed, Beatrice, for joining us here. Thank you. Um, how did you celebrate your day today? Well, uh, today I actually didn't do much because uh, yesterday when we were celebrating the, the celebration of the International Women's Day, I was one of the panel, panelists yesterday uh, at uh, the Laiko Hotel. And um, some of the areas that I, I actually touched on was actually the achievement uh, made by women in entrepreneurship development in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I happened to have been asked a couple of questions. So today, the whole day, I was just answering questions from various people. I mean, we have, I'm impressed with the youth. Like, for instance, in Kilifi, I met a group of girls that have, are already doing something to do with waste to energy project, mm -hmm. and they have already completed the concept, and mm -hmm. they just need someone. Very well. Uh, so it was just a matter of answering phone calls, mm -hmm. writing mails. Good. Because I will be lead, heading for Germany next week. So Very well. So today you just spent the just day, you know, day. relaxing. Yeah. And of course, reflecting back. Yeah. Nancy, how did you spend your day today? No more day in the office. No more day in the office. Yes, serving Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just that. Yeah, filling in and doing, catching up with work. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was a busy day. Yesterday was a busy so day. So today I was catching up with office work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, when you when we reflect on this day, you know. Uh, which has been celebrated uh, 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 since 1975. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think women in this country, you know, have made strides in business? I would say so. I would say that Kenya, in that space of women, female entrepreneurship, I think Kenya leads the pack on this continent uh, because women have managed to uh, create space and attract policy development by government, if we look at the initiatives like the AGPO, I think Kenya, you could rightly say that it's ahead in Africa. Mm -hmm. And the, the fact that women have got their own fund, that's also another yeah. plus mm -hmm. in Africa. Yeah. And you, you, you could say that uh, women have, have taken up that Pace with a lot of appetite. Mm -hmm. There have been, of course, challenges. It's not been a smooth walk in the park. But of course, it's also been a learning curve. And when you look at some of the initiatives that uh, uh, even the business itself, the business structures like under the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. the women in business, um, the issues they are doing, uh, even having that um, agitating and talking and taking the space for women, I think it's a big plus. And when we look at the, the progressive you know, engagement, not a day passes without a head of state yeah. touching and emphasizing mm -hmm. on government, for example, the ACPO, emphasizing that it must work and it must, reminding us, mm. those of us who are implementers, that mm -hmm. it must be done. And you know, having that kind of support every time Mm -hmm. I think it's a big plus for women. Very well. Yeah. Beatrice, I mean, you've been in business for the last, uh, more, actually, more than 20, 20, 20 years. Previously, you used to be in politics, and then you ventured into, to, 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 you know, into business, and you relocated to Germany, where there is a lot of, um, uh, 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 you know, where women issues, you know, are taken, you know, 
more serious and of course they're on, an, on a higher level you know compared to this country but you have come back you know and you have seen that, that uh, you know the government has done a lot you know trying to help women you know to move forward with the establishment of women fund you know the 30 percent uh, uh, procurement rules for women uh, youth and and, and 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 the people with disability are you convinced that uh, we are moving in the right direction well, yes and no to some extent, mm -hmm. but uh, I would uh, mostly mention more, I will actually focus more on the renewable energy sector mm -hmm. because this is actually more dominated and that is where I am currently. Mm -hmm. So when I decided to come to Kenya, I was thinking, why is it that we, what is it that we are lacking as a country? Because we have enough sun, we have a lot of rubbish around. Mm -hmm. And why is it, what is this uh, that has actually made us not catch up with the Western world? Mm. So I decided, first of all, to go from one uh, city to another in Germany, try to look for attending seminars, looking for finances, etc. So when I came back to Kenya, I was well equipped, and that is about five years ago. Mm. And then when I came over, I didn't know where to start. So I went to the uh, Chamber of Commerce where I met uh, the chairman, Mr. Kiprono. And he actually gave, held my hand and, and gave me a letter to take to the Ministry of Energy where I met P.S. Njoroge, yeah. who has been actually taking me along this journey. But what I realize is that uh, we Kenyans have a lot of ignorance in the, in, in the energy sector. So I really wanted to know what is this that has been holding us back. Yeah. So I decided to go to the villages, mm. to farms, and I realized that we had a lot, of, uh, a lot of potential. We had enough land, we had substations, but people were so ignorant. They didn't even know that with that substation in your land, you can actually... I get some energy out of it. Yeah. So I started teaching them from, you know, one homestead to another. Mm -hmm. But now we've come actually a long way. So in this industry, I've realized that 99.9% .9 of the people that I'm working with are actually men and very, very few women. And I'm trying to encourage women to come also on board. Mm. But our biggest problem is that this job is done by engineers and we have very few engineers on board in Kenya. Yeah. So I would like actually to encourage a lot of our family members to encourage their girls to actually start, you know, training to be in this industry of, uh, of engineering because this is actually the core factor for a successful, um, a successful energy production. Yeah. So, so and, 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 and you know, you're, you're, you're touching a very important uh, uh, point here on knowledge gap. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we, we know for sure that knowledge is power. And, you know, according to uh, uh, the World Bank, you know, seven out of ten businesses, you know, started by women, you know, they fail before they get to their fifth birthday, uh, and, and Nancy. Mm. Then how, how do we ensure, you know, that uh, we avail the necessary information to aspiring, you know, entrepreneurs to ensure that, uh, you know, when they start their business, mm. they kick off and they fly? I think you've touched on a very important point, which I think the chamber has been trying to address, mm. and particularly the women in business. There's a huge capacity gap, and even in this ACPO business, has manifested itself mm. uh, because uh, sometimes when you look at the women entrepreneurs, there is this, but I think it's a Kenyan issue of hustling mentality. Yeah. The opportunities are there. So we go for the low, low end, even in terms of supplies and procurement to government, mm -hmm. government being one of the biggest uh, business that, can that the, the women and others can engage in. Mm. But we find that us women will go for the general supplies, yep. you know, low value, maybe procurement. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an issue that needs a lot of training, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, advocacy, so that we may, well, that was a learning area. We may now graduate into the bigger, to join the boys, mm -hmm. in terms of specialized mm -hmm. training, so that we target and learn about a particular area. Mm -hmm. uh, if I may touch on in, in the area in which I'm working, the maritime sector, would like to see more women 
because it's happening in other parts of the world. Yeah. Uh, I could cite a case like uh, Brazil, where a group of women have come together and they're actually running. They built and are running one of the biggest cruise terminals mm -hmm. in one of the cities. So there's a lot of opportunity, but we have a lot of work to do, beginning with particularly engaging uh, the ladies in terms of uh, even the processes themselves, yeah. because procurement, when you're thinking of the 30% being reserved for women, mm. we have to learn a lot. There's a lot of uh, special, it's a specialized or rather regulated area mm -hmm. so that you have to meet the specifications in terms of the documentation, in yeah. terms of the paperwork you do. Mm -hmm. And you find that you could be, uh, they could be qualified because of very small issues. Yeah. So there's a lot of learning and I'm glad that uh, government is also moving in now when we're talking of graduating into the next level mm -hmm. of creating a specialized bank in, in putting together those funds that have been reserved for Mm -hmm. women and special special groups into a more specialized kind of disbursement uh, method so that you know from the beginning when you walk into the bank mm -hmm. this is what I need this mm -hmm. is the paperwork that I need and this is how I need to do it mm -hmm. so it's work in progress it is I would say mm -hmm. Beatrice I mean you know having spent a lot of time you know in Germany and of course mm -hmm. you know trying to break the sailing you know on renewable energy, which is a male-dominated industry. I mean, what have you learned in the process? Actually, I've learned in the process that our biggest uh, hiccup and our, what has actually set us back is actually lack of knowledge mm -hmm. and lack of finance. Mm -hmm. And when I came back, when I, when I went all over Germany looking for investors, who are actually gladly now coming. It was very difficult to penetrate the mm -hmm. market in Germany because the Germans are very reserved. And you know, Kenya has been quite slow in a few things, especially in the renewable energy area. So it was very difficult for me to convince them. So what I realized after my homework, I decided to come to Kenya to find out actually what this may be. So I discovered that our biggest, we have the potential, we have land enough, we have the sun, we have the capacity, mm. we have engineers, young in engineers are coming up. But the problem is actually that knowledge and finance. So what I, what I, I, I decided to do is, mm -hmm. you know, find out what is really our biggest problem. Mm -hmm. And I discovered that we actually need finance, we actually need the technology, mm -hmm. the European technology, mm -hmm. and above all, we need people who can come and train our engineers and work on JV. So what I have done is actually to get these investors into the country. So yeah. uh, locally, when I came over, I discovered that there were so many projects around which were uh, not uh, taken care of, mm -hmm. and they have actually blocked the pipeline. That is why we, we are not going further. So we have people who have actually started these projects, but because they don't have the capacity, that knowledge, mm. the money to get it forward. So it blocks the, the mm -hmm. pipeline. So the, the issue of financing, you know, you, it, it's, and it's being cited, you know, by a lot of women, you know, yesterday, you, there was that forum, you know, where women were talking about, you know, some of the challenges they go through, you know, in trying to set up business. And lack of finance and so high cost of jobs. credit in this country, you know, was kept on, you know, coming up. And the question is, then how do we address this issue of financing? Well, I think the government has taken the first step with this kind of processes that are coming up. But also Particularly, the government cannot do it alone. Right? Yes. There is a need for the private sector to do something. Yes, yes, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And to change some of the, is it mentality that we have in the cultural, you know, cultural outlook mm -hmm. that women, women don't own land a lot, mm -hmm. they don't own a lot of property. Mm -hmm. So this idea of always asking for is it title deeds or security that maybe oh, women right. don't have? Mm. Maybe we need to, to do more in coming together mm -hmm. and raising our own finances mm -hmm. in terms of, uh, is it Harambe and women's groups? Sure. Like I say, it was, uh, that, that company, mm. Shylocks, no. Oh, sh Did you say Shylocks? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Chamas, not Oh, yeah, 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 I meant Chamas. The, the Chamas, mm -hmm. maybe we, we, we need to do more. Mm -hmm trust each other more yeah. because together we can do a lot. Like I said, that's a 
group in Brazil running mm -hmm. a cruise terminal. Mm -hmm. That's the concept they've used, coming together, mm -hmm. trusting each other, mm -hmm. getting the car, uh, you know, bridging the capacity gaps in terms of knowledge mm -hmm. and re recognizing that, you know, mm -hmm. from the bottom floor of hustling, mm -hmm. you need to be specialized yeah. and therefore creating the confidence to get, uh, to become bankable, mm -hmm. you know, and encouraging and you know, like getting the banks to look at you as someone who can deliver. Mm -hmm. And being faithful to the course that one has started in their business. Yeah. Not just from hand to mouth and keeping proper books, you know. It's a long way. It's, it's a long way to go. Yeah. But of course, you know, uh, mm. the fact that, uh, you know, mm. the journey has started, it means that uh, it is still achievable. Absolutely. Uh, you, mm -hmm. mm. you, you know, when you look at, uh, you know, the Big Four agenda, mm. you know, the government is emphasizing so much, you know, on the creation of SMEs. Yes. But of course, you cannot create SMEs, you know, without availing uh, a, a cheap credit. You, you live in Germany, you know, where the highest cost of credit uh, a bank will charge you is about 2.5 percent on your loan. You're right. You are now living in a country where the, co the same will cost you about 14%. Then are we serious about this? Actually, because women are looked at, are looked at in a very, you know, they are, as compared to men, we are looked at as being less in a few things, which is not true. Mm. So when it comes to banking, I think, uh, because just as you've mentioned in Germany, it's about 2.5%. Mm. So in Kenya, it sh they should actually try to focus on the same because women are mostly at home. They don't have much to do. So we should actually form a forum where we are exempted from paying a lot of taxes. I mean, th we should be reduced to about maybe 4% to make us, you know, wake up. Mm -hmm. Other than the 14% is a little bit too much on the higher side. Yeah. And in Germany, that is actually what makes people live. For instance, I've uh, come up with a concept of housing. Mm -hmm. So we have a plant which I am actually representing the East African market mm -hmm. for Germany for a certain company. Mm -hmm. So we've realized that in housing, you know, the population is growing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the housing system is too slow. So I've come up with a concept where uh, we are bringing up a, a, a plant here. And actually, the investors, the developers, we will have a chance to give them to actually bring a plant in Kenya mm -hmm. and actually pay just 2.5 percent. They mm -hmm. will just have to pay a deposit of about uh, maybe 10, 20 mm -hmm. percent, depending on the agreement with, uh, with the owners of the, of the company in Germany. Mm -hmm. And this will actually fasten the process of even in the housing schemes, mm -hmm. because our people here cannot afford actually, you mm -hmm. know, to get money from the bank because everything is, it, everything is too high. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward actually to bringing up that issue. I've already talked to the housing finance about mm -hmm. it, and I'm looking forward to talking to several other mm -hmm. cooperation developers mm -hmm. whom we will invite there, you know, have a look at how the, the process works. Well. And, this, and this plant actually is very, very, very uh, vital for women because the, the production is actually easy going. And other, we are replacing the blocks mm -hmm. with a very simple material where we can even have women that you know, can actually even us. work in the construction mm -hmm. because the material mm -hmm. is hardly, is hardly, uh, is hardly, is very, is hardly, is very easy going and mm -hmm. even women can work on well, that. Well, and that and is what I'm mm -hmm. also thinking I can. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and you're still, uh, when you're still uh, in the process of, you know, responding to that, you also realize, that, you know, that one of the agenda by the government is to, pro to provide affordable housing, about 500,000 units. So make, make your point. No, the point I was going to make is that uh, it's not all gloom and doom because the government is now thinking or planning to start a special interest group bank where the interest, the loans will be, or the finance will be free, mm -hmm. absolutely interest free. Mm -hmm. And therefore we anticipate to see a big surge in female entrepreneurship with that kind of facilitation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very well. Uh, yeah. So, uh, because I can see time is not on our mm. end, mm. Uh, we, we must start wrapping up. Uh, uh, so, I, I, I would want to find out from you, uh, um, Beatrice, the government is very serious, you know, talking about, you know, reforming the business environment here in Kenya. Are you convinced it is working the talk? 
Well, uh, currently, um, as I mentioned before, I'm more in the renewable sector. Mm. And uh, what I actually do is, uh, before I actually bring an in, uh, uh, a company in, in, or rather investors into the country, mm -hmm. I try to find out what is, what is this that they are looking for. Mm -hmm. So for this particular sector, I have two big companies in Germany. Mm. One of them is, the turnover is about 35, 35, 35 uh, billion euros mm -hmm. a year. And the other one has actually these ones are doing very big projects. So what I do, I come to Kenya and I try to, first of all, I do it in two phases, the introduction phase, where I bring an investor here. They tell me exactly what they want, who they want to see. And then the next phase, after they have known the country, they know their whereabouts, then they come now in big force and tell me this is exactly where we are focused on. Mm -hmm. So the two companies that I'm working for in Renewable Energy, that I'm working together with in Renewable Energy, mm -hmm. they are actually doing big projects, for instance, 10, 10 uh, megawatts to about 40 megawatts. Mm. So about me me 40 megawatts, you are talking about 100 million US dollar. Yeah. And we need land one about... Billion yes, we need land mm -hmm. uh, about 160 mm -hmm. acres for 40 megawatts, mm -hmm. which we have here. Mm -hmm. And then we have for 10, we can do with the f uh, 40 acres. Mm -hmm. So what, are, what has actually made me, because currently with the, the two companies, the one that is uh, targeting on big projects which are at an advanced stage, mm. that is the ERC level mm. or negotiating the PPA. So normally what we do, they, I, I, I go to the government, the Ministry of Energy, and I should mention this, by the way, that the Ministry of Energy has been very supportive mm -hmm. to me, especially I would mention one person, uh, that is the P.S. Njoroge. He's been <laughs> holding my hand yeah. all along. Mm -hmm. So when, 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 by the time they come here, everything is, you know, organized. Yeah. They have always accepted to receive them. Mm -hmm. And currently we have a pipeline of about 120 megawatts. Well, that 120. Is about and, and, and so what I'm getting from you is, is that, uh, you know, the government is somehow... Very receptive and cooperative, uh, yes. you know, to investors who want to come to this yes. country, especially women. Yes. Very well, uh, because we have to wind up, um, I want to hear from you, what are your final words to women who want to make it in business, but they don't have a way out? They don't have a way out. Government is providing a way out for them. Uh, I would urge them to arm themselves with the knowledge, to, not, to be bold, in other words. Mm -hmm because it's for them, because we, I find that uh, as women, we tend to pull back and then therefore become our worst enemies Very in well. that. Mm -hmm. So I would like to encourage them to occupy this space that has been created for them. 30% mm -hmm. of government budget mm -hmm. in procurement for them uh, with the plans that are coming of creating uh, easier disbursements through their own special interest banks. Let them be bold research, learn, become more specialist in terms of doing business with government. Very good. Yeah. Nancy and Beatrice, thank yeah. you so much indeed for your company here tonight and of course for your input. Thank we you. highly appreciate it. Thank you very and much And again, for happy us. International Women's Day. Thank, thank you. you. Very well. Nancy Karagedo is the PAS in charge of Maritime Affairs and uh, uh, Beatrice van der Velde. Probably is. before you wind up, there is something that I would like to urge yes. the government to do. Very fast. We have a lot of uh, people abroad uh, in different countries mm -hmm. from Kenya who have the knowledge. We have doctors, we have named them. Mm -hmm. But uh, the government hasn't really looked keen on us. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, I, I just came from Kenya, mm -hmm. went to abroad, I've been doing a lot of work here, mm -hmm. but I, I don't get that big hand, we don't have that platform to work. Mm -hmm. For instance, now I'm actually um, trying to fight for a honorary consulate position mm -hmm. in Germany, which mm -hmm. traditionally is actually given to Germans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because I'm actually bringing the investors, I'm already in this, I'm already bringing, I've been working on this for the last 16 years. Mm. So I think it's actually a high time the Ministry of Foreign Affairs recognize people like us, not only in Germany, but also in other countries okay. that have the morale and the capacity actually to deliver that what a white man can do. Let's believe that, uh, you know, uh, the ministry is uh, concerned, you know, mm -hmm. have heard and they have listened to you. And of course, that's what they are going to work.